Have you ever wondered how a climatic phenomenon in the Pacific Ocean could influence weather patterns across the globe? Today, we delve into the mystery that is El Niño. Born in the tropical Pacific Ocean, El Niño arrives every two to seven years, like an uninvited guest. This climatic phenomenon, characterized by unusually warm ocean temperatures, has far-reaching effects impacting weather patterns around the world. Now, imagine a vast subcontinent like India. Every year, it eagerly awaits the monsoon rains, a lifeline for its agriculture-dependent economy. But what happens when El Niño decides to play spoil sport? There's a curious relationship between El Niño and the Indian monsoon. When El Niño strengthens, it warms the Pacific Ocean, causing shifts in the atmospheric circulation patterns. This shift often results in reduced rainfall over the Indian subcontinent during the monsoon season. Looking back at history, we see this pattern clearly. In the years marked by strong El Niño events, India has typically experienced deficient monsoon rainfall. This is not just a statistical correlation, but a cause and effect relationship that has been confirmed by numerous scientific studies. But what does this mean for India? In a country where over half of the agricultural land relies on monsoon rains, a deficient monsoon can spell disaster. Crops fail, leading to a rise in food prices and distress among the farming community. El Nino doesn't just meddle with the rains, it also leads to warmer temperatures. Imagine the already scorching Indian summer becoming even hotter. This rise in temperature has myriad effects, from health issues like heat strokes to increased demand for energy for cooling purposes. The reduced rainfall also takes a toll on India's water resources. Lower rainfall means less water in the rivers, reservoirs running dry, and a decline in groundwater recharge. This can have serious implications for water availability, affecting everything from irrigation to drinking water supplies. And then there are the cyclones. El Niño has a peculiar impact on cyclone formation in the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea. While it suppresses cyclone formation in the Bay of Bengal, it tends to increase it in the Arabian Sea. All these impacts of El Niño have broader economic and social implications. Agriculture, the backbone of India's economy, takes a hit. This can lead to rural distress and even impact the overall economy. Understanding and monitoring El Niño becomes crucial for a country like India. It helps in better preparedness and adaptation, whether it's planning the agricultural calendar or managing water resources. From affecting the Indian monsoon to influencing cyclone formation, El Niño's impacts on India are far-reaching. It's a stark reminder of how interconnected our world is and how a climatic event in one part of the globe can have profound impacts thousands of miles away. So the next time you hear about El Niño, remember, it's not just about the Pacific Ocean. It's a global phenomenon with local impacts. And understanding it is key to navigating the challenges of our changing climate.